After half a year, the Vivo S series ushered in an update again on the afternoon of May 31, the new Vivo S17 series mobile phones were officially released, including the S17, S17T and S17 Pro models. In fact, before the product was released, Vivo officials officially lifted the ban on the appearance of the S17 series, this time bringing the main mountain sea green color scheme. It is reported that the Vivo team was inspired by the fashionable fluid vision, and pursued the freehand charm of creating a three-dimensional landscape on a micron-scaled eye Frame. In terms of detailed appearance, the image camera module of the Vivo S17 Pro is upgraded to a water mirror and cloud window, with a larger area, and the area of the two cameras is also increased. The soft light ring is located below the camera, and the area is consistent with the camera. The Vivo S17 Pro is equipped with a 6.78-inch 1.5K Super Retina Eye Protection Screen, which Vivo officially claims is the best screen of the Vivo S series so far. Specifically, this screen adopts a new diamond-like pixel arrangement, with a resolution of 2800 by 1260 a 452 ppi, and supports 10-bit color depth, 100% p3 color gamut, 120Hz refresh rate, and a contrast ratio of 8 million by 1. The local peak brightness reached 1300 nits. In terms of weight, the Vivo S17 Pro is only 188 grams, which maintains the excellent weight control of the Vivo S series, and it is not a problem to hold it with one hand. However, boasting and boasting, there are still slots to complain about. As expected, the Vivo S17 Pro still does not use stereo dual speakers. Good guy, this has almost become a family tradition of the S series. Of course, the author's demand for Xuanzang is not particularly urgent, so it can be ignored. However, the router motor really shouldn't be used anymore. Today, halfway through 2023, the buzzing router motor is really cheap. It's not appropriate for such a beautiful Vivo S17 Pro, just like a beautiful beauty. One mouthful, but it smells like cornstarch, you know what I mean. It is still the familiar JN150 megapixel super light sensitive portrait lens. Everyone should be familiar with the JN1 module. It supports 4 in 1 pixels. This lens has also been used by many flagship mobile phones for ultra wide angle sub cameras. Thanks to the ultra wide angle and high pixel advantages of this 50 megapixel super light sensitive portrait lens, the Vivo S17 Pro supports 0.8x to 1x to 2x free zoom, and one lens can meet the needs of ultra wide angle, 1x and 2x close ups. This front lens also supports AF automatic focus. When you pose for a selfie, no matter where the lens is facing, you can focus at the first time, which will bring a lot of improvement to the user's camera experience. The Vivo S17 series still uses screen fingerprint recognition. For straight men, the round soft light may not be too popular, but for those beauty bloggers who like to take selfies, live broadcasts or vlog shooting, this huge soft light ring is really important. With it, you don't even need those professional and huge soft light equipment. The Vivo S17 Pro can also fill the face anytime and anywhere, so that the skin is always fair and transparent, and the skin tone is more realistic and vivid. In terms of core hardware, the Vivo S17 Pro is still equipped with the same Dimensity 8200 as the S16 Pro, up to 12 gigs and 512 gigs large storage. It supports NFC, and has been upgraded to 80 watts fast charging, and the battery is 4600 mAh. Overall, the performance of the Vivo S17 Pro is in line with expectations, which is the normal performance of Dimensity 8200. In terms of temperature, the performance of the Vivo S17 Pro is also within expectations, and the measured temperature is around 43 degrees centigrade. The Vivo S17 Pro is still a very blue factory and a very Vivo product. In terms of thin and light appearance, technological innovation and portrait shooting, the Vivo S17 Pro once again brought full surprises. The brand new color scheme brings a three-dimensional landscape charm, which is so good that people cannot refuse. At the same time, the soft light that glows at the front and back, and the independent 2X lens below the X-Series, make the Vivo S17 Pro more beautiful in any light environment, and which beauty who loves self is, doesn't like such an outstanding appearance. What about a phone that takes better pictures of people? Of course, the single Yang and rotor motors that were complained about before are still retained in the Vivo S17 Pro. The Vivo team's knife skills don't have to be so precise, right? All in all, as long as you don't care about the above two problems, and at the same time love selfies and portraits, then don't hesitate, Vivo S17 Pro is your beauty and strength. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.